Alright, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate uh, a moles to moles uh, conversion using a balanced chemical equation. Luckily for us this one's already balanced. Notice that in the problem it never mentions uh, grams so since it never meant since it does not ever mention grams we do not have to calculate molar mass for any of these compounds in the balanced equation so let's get started okay the question asks how many moles of potassium hydroxide alright first of all you need to find potassium hydroxide that's this guy right here and since it says how many moles what you'll do is you'll put a number sign underneath what you're trying to find because it says how many at moles so I'm going to write number sign mole here that way I know I'm looking for the number of moles of potassium hydroxide number of moles of potassium hydroxide that's how, this is how I label mine and I suggest you to do it the same way too now they state that how many moles of potassium hydroxide are required to make three moles of potassium sulfate now here is potassium sulfate they told us that we had 3.0 moles of potassium sulfate so in essence this is my given okay I'm given a question what they want me to find and I'm given a number for my true given now like I've stated in the past you will always take your given and put it over one so you will write down 3.0 moles of K2SO4 that is your given notice that you are given three moles of potassium sulfate I want to take the given and put it over one now my next step is to figure out what I'm going to write here well if this is moles of potassium sulfate moles of potassium sulfate would go here now when you have a balanced equation and you write mole for the second time then more than likely you're going to have to have what is known as a molar ratio what the molar ratio allows us to do is to switch between different types of compounds and different types of elements here we're trying to switch from talking about uh, potassium sulfate to potassium hydroxide so this molar ratio allows us to switch meaning I can write moles of H2SO4 up there, moles of KOH up there, or moles of water up there. I could even write moles of potassium up there, and moles of sulfur up there, or moles of oxygen up there. But they're not asking me for any of those. They're asking me for this one right here. So I'm going to write moles of KOH up there. Now after I do that, I need numbers to go in the front of here. Now in the molar ratio, the numbers that go in the front here will be this 2 and this 1. The 1 will go in front of the mole of K2SO4. The 2 will go in front of the mole KOH. Okay, So the molar ratio allows you to switch from the different compounds or even elements in a balanced equation. And that is a huge advantage. Now after that we have 3.0 times 2 is 6.0 over 1 times 1 is 1 so my answer ends up being 6.0 but 6.0 of what? well mo K2SO4 cancels with moles of K2SO4 and I'm left with 6 moles of potassium hydroxide and this is how you do a mo to mo conversion with a balanced equation. Alright guys, I hope this helps.